Recently, I got reached out to by a big media company by like a casting director to talk about my detransition. And although that's so nice of them to ask, I've seen what happens when you allow others to tell your story about detransitioning on major platforms. But since people are interested, I'll do a video. I mean, I've talked about my detransition a lot before. I think my story helps people, um, but I want it to come from me on my platform. You know what I mean? Not that I haven't talked about it a million times, but. Anyways, my name is MJ. I'm a trans man. Um, I do not consider myself detransitioning transition now. I was on hormones for years. I've had top surgery. For the majority of the past six or seven years, I've presented as male. But when I was on hormones at about the three-year mark, my liver started to fail, so I had to discontinue. Because of that, I made a rash decision to detransition. And what I mean by the term detransition is basically um, I just started presenting feminine in everyday life. I went back to she, her pronouns. It only lasted a month and a half for me. It was a very painful time. It was not comfortable, but I'll tell you about it. The number one question I get asked is like, why did you decide to detransition? Why didn't you just present like you are now as masculine without hormones? Because I was scared shitless. I didn't know what was going to happen. When I first went off hormones, I mean, I had a beard like I was passing in everyday life. I don't pass now in everyday life all the time, like 24-7. It's just something I've come to terms with. But that was a harsh pill to swallow back then. I figured, you know what? I'm just going to rip it off like a band-aid. I'm going to present feminine and I'll just deal with the dysphoria in therapy and hopefully that'll work. You'll be alarmingly surprised to learn that it didn't. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people are curious what it was like um, presenting as, you know, a woman after going so long uh, presenting in society as male. If you take away all the internal, like, struggles I was dealing with, in society, not much changed um, from when I presented as a feminine woman before my transition. My husband and I weren't married at the time. We were kind of on and off. He eventually ended up staying with me throughout my whole detransition. But I ghosted on him at first because my husband likes dudes. And I was like, there's no way he's going to be attracted to me, like, you know, presenting feminine. I was wrong. He stayed. But before I knew that, I was in the dating scene. And honestly, uh, <laughs> men didn't care. I deadass had top surgery. I mean, I had been on hormones for years. Um, They didn't care. I had zero problem dating, honestly. And that includes having HSV2, which is genital herpes, which I also talk about on my page a lot because raising awareness reduces stigma, which reduces rates. But yeah, dudes didn't care. I went to the beach and stuff just with, like, um, a bathing suit top on. I left, uh, you know, fat in my chest after top surgery purposely because I'm a bigger dude. So, honestly, no one really batted an eye when I was, like, in a bikini on the beach. <laughs> I did have to shave my face every day. I shave it now, but I did then, too, obviously. Changing my gender back to female was nowhere near as difficult as it was changing it to male initially. I could go on and on, but, um, I'm running out of time, so hope that helps.